Oh, Sony decided to reveal new hardware and new details this morning, and we're gonna we're gonna go over it. And so for this video, I wanted to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories we're gonna dive into today includes new leaks on the PlayStation 5 Pro that are both good and bad potentially. We're gonna talk about that PlayStation 5 big screen mode that could change gaming events, and Sony just revealed new details and new hardware where this morning first yes or no are you going to be getting the playstation portal which is what the official name is for the project q as we've known it so far it'll be 199 and we'll get into all the details about it for, in, in a sec but for now you know it'll be 199 and it'll also directly play your playstation 5 games on the go via remote play so comment below yes or no if you're going to be getting the playstation portal or not let me know down in the comments below now, diving into the first story of the video, Sony reveals new hardware out of nowhere. New hardware and information. So, this part of the video is going to be unscripted. So, <laughs> bear with me if I make mistakes. So, Sony this morning just decided to drop the information on Project Q and their new wireless earbuds, along with revealing a new headset as well. Now, we knew that Sony was going to do this for the Project Q and the earbuds, not necessarily announce a new headset, but the earbuds and Project Q were probably going to get a blog post uh, reveal with their information. I honestly thought they would give us a release date and when pre-orders will go live but we're still waiting on that but these products are all still coming later this year so i've summarized this information here on x let's just go over it so playstation portal remote player that's the name for project q the official name and i had one of my followers on twitter <laughs> tell me the abbreviated name for it is psp so this is the new PSP, essentially. And I wonder if Sony will point that out at any point in the future. But the information that we have, it's 199. It has an LCD screen, 1080p, 60 FPS, adaptive triggers and haptics, just like your controller at home. Uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, remote play only. They emphasize that it's a remote play device, not meant for cloud streaming, and will connect remotely to your PlayStation 5. There. Uh, there are hands-on videos out there right now that you can go check out that reveals this thing boots directly into your PlayStation 5. So it doesn't have its own OS. It boots directly into your PlayStation 5. So I expect a much, much improved remote play feature here, much better than what you have on your phone to make the entire device solely focused on this. And again, you can use remote play anywhere you can use remote play anywhere you have wi-fi so if you're across the globe you have a wi-fi connection you can connect directly to your playstation 5 and start playing now that's the playstation portal beyond that we have the playstation pulse elite wireless headsets that's the new headset that they just revealed it'll be 149 it'll have lossless audio retractable boom mic and ai enhanced noise rejection filtering uh, of background noise and they also gave us information on the playstation pulse earbuds explore earbuds so that's the name for the earbuds that were uh teased earlier this year playstation pulse explore earbuds so these will be 199.99 lossless audio dual mics ai enhanced noise rejection filtering for background noise and they'll also support bluetooth so if you want to connect it over to your phone that works as well and it'll also come with a charging case as well so you have that just similar to any uh earbuds out there as well so the lossless audio and noise cancellation are amazing for gaming headsets you don't see that often and sony already makes amazing headsets and earbuds uh, with their premium lines their sony brand lines so hopefully we get some of that quality here with these two um two new headsets and in terms of their uh noise cancellation and uh, their lossless audio and then after that they revealed the playstation link which is their new technology that allows easy switching between devices so switching from playstation portal to your playstation 5 for example using the earbuds or using the uh the elite headsets so it allows also for delivering of low latency uh, lossless audio it's only on their new devices so playstation portal explore earbuds and elite headsets these are the only ones that currently have playstation link but in the future third-party brands could also incorporate playstation link into their headsets as well so this is to connect uh, but to connect to your playstation 5 you're going to have to be using uh the the usb the earbuds can also have bluetooth as i said earlier so they can connect to your phone for example and uh the purpose of PlayStation Link is to provide the best audio and to allow you to switch between devices real, really quick. It sounds similar to what Apple had with, had with their uh, AirPods. 
and uh, how you can switch between your iPad and iPhone and Mac really quick. So PlayStation Link really seems like that's what it is. So those are the new devices, the new you know products coming out later this year. I'm personally going to be getting the earbuds and the Project Q, not Project Q, the <laughs> the PlayStation uh, Portal remote player. So the PlayStation Portal, I'm just going to keep a PlayStation Portal. So I'm going to be getting those two. Uh, I'm curious, what are you guys thinking of getting? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the second story of the video, PlayStation 5 big screen mode. Reading from OP Attack, a new patent from Sony Interactive Entertainment intends to make local co-op into a big event. For a long time, the local co-op has been limited to a small number of players that can fit into a single console, in this case, mainly meaning four, but the patent intends to change that. The summary of the patent reads, a technique for scaling a multiplayer co-op and competitive computer gaming to dozens or even scores of people playing simultaneously for example in a movie theater the gameplay occurs on the giant screen at the front of the theater each person has a controller to control one character or avatar in a gameplay space that is projected on the screen in a theater with 100 people in the seats for example 100 respective avatars can appear on the screen each controlled by a respective different player a setup like this could make it easier to grab a large number of people for some kind of significant gaming event like a cooperative raid or a competitive multiplayer game rather than creating a spider web of various consoles. We'll have to see how this patent turns out, but until then, hopefully the idea will bear fruit. So here it doesn't seem to state what the exact technology is that will, you know, conceive this but the concept is 100 players playing locally at the same time this would be perfect uh also for something like a battle royale tournament as well if they manage to find a way to allow 100 players to play locally without multiple consoles being linked to make that happen it sounds pretty cool but uh you know i'm a loser out here i don't have 100 friends to <laughs> to get my use out of something like this but uh, you guys let me know if you want this 100 player local feature or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, more PlayStation 5 Pro leaks that are both good and bad potentially. So without taking a long time to rehash everything, I have an infographic with the information on screen that we know, the information that we know so far for the PlayStation 5 Pro based off rumors and report from uh, Red Gaming Tech and uh, Tom Henderson. I'll have that on screen again if you want to pause and look at it just to get a quick refresher. But looking at today's information, it looks like some things have changed from what we have before potentially. So first up, the CPU. Before, Red Gaming Tech stated that he heard it was going to be a Zen 4 chip, but now he's hearing it's just Zen 2, same as the base PlayStation 5, but overclocked at 4 gigahertz, while the PlayStation 5 currently is clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. He does state that this information could be wrong, uh, or that the Zen 4 information could be wrong in the final launch since Sony were testing multiple models. So either one of these could be the case at the end. We'll know the correct one, uh, come this holiday when more developers get the console and those specs will finally leak and we'll know the information that we could potentially uh, get for the final launch of the console. As for the GPU, he states it is uh, uh, RDNA 3.5, which is what we had before, but now his new information reveals that it has 32 work group processes, but only 30 are active. The active part is what we care about because this means that there are 60 active compute units, which is almost double the PlayStation 5's 36 active compute units that should help with things like ray tracing improvements which we've seen patents on from uh from playstation the clock for the gpu is apparently tested internally at 2.5 to 2.8 gigahertz rdna 3.5 is also a solid jump over rdna 2 which is what's in the playstation 5 right now graphics improvements seem to be the focus with this potential leak for me as i've said i want that 4k 60 that's the goal that needs to be achieved here with the playstation 5 pro and i hope they reach it but you guys let me know if you're excited for the playstation 5 pro or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one
And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with bring on the show. We've been waiting for a new show. Honestly, at this point, I'll take a state of play. <laughs> Just something new with new information from Sony. Hopefully, some focus on first party studios. If you want a showcase that could potentially happen this month or next month or a state of play at least, destroy the comments section with bring on the show and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one